myself, well, this, do you want to maybe have this and I have this? And then we can move on to this. Cheers. Hey friends, hi. Uh, I was trying to show you something and I realized that I had my camera in slow motion. I just got back from work. I'm having a quinoa rainbow salad from Doppio. I had this on Sunday. Um, today's Tuesday and I didn't finish it because the bowl was so big. Um, and I added a little bit of avocado on the side. I'm trying to... I'm in this place with my body, right? I'm not... 
I'm not entirely uncomfortable with my body. I'm fine with, with, with the way my body is, how it feels, all of that. It's just that over the last couple of weeks, I probably even longer, maybe a month or two, I just haven't been treating my body as well as I normally do. My lips are very dry. So what I'm trying to do right now is just be a little bit more cognizant and aware of what I am eating and what I'm putting in my body. And um, yeah, so I, I, I change it around every now and again. Um, Weight-wise, I still yo-yo between having that gain, that 5 kg, then losing it, then gaining 3 back. Then, you know, so weight-wise, I'm, I'm fine with uh, how my... Um, weight is at the moment but I wanted to be at my happy weight right so trying to get it back there and uh, I'm just I'm just aware right I'm just trying to be more aware of what I put in my body currently and yeah so this morning I woke up went to work I had a small bowl of oats when I got to work uh, not even when I got to work. I had the small bowl of oats around midday. And uh, right now it's half past two. So I'm itching for a lunch. And then at around 6, 6.30 I'm going to eat. Um, I don't quite know yet what I'm going to have. I don't quite know yet. But I've got some uh, pork shanks here that I might just cook up on the stovetop. Um, Saute them, fry it up a little bit maybe cut it into small pieces and then have that with something, some sort of salad or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. And so I'm just, I'm just trying to get to that happy place where I'm happy about what I eat and I'm not necessarily always judging what I eat and all of that. So right now I'm just going to have my lunch. Um, the power is going to go again in about an hour and a half or so. And uh, then I'm going to read. I'm going to continue with Eleanor Oliphant is perfectly fine. Is completely fine. Uh, going to read that maybe for about an hour or two. Um, I haven't touched it since the last time you saw me speak about this uh, um, book, which was last week. Um, and I do remember having a conversation about financial security in my previous vlog, but I didn't really touch in on it. Um, so I am under a lot of stress pressure right now um, because I, I, I'm just not where I feel comfortable with uh, uh, my finances and all of that. So I I tend to push myself quite a lot so that I can get to where I'm comfortable. Is it healthy? Not so much. Um, but that's, I, I suppose, the really fine line with me and productivity. I feel like when I'm productive, I'm, I'm working better when I'm product, productive. I don't know. But mm, mm, mm. it's really, really good. If you like going to Doppio, definitely do try it out. It is a much more healthier alternative to having a burger and chips, per se. But, um, no choice. I'm going to pour myself a, cup, a, a small glass of juice, have lunch, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later about that whole financial security thing.
Hey friends. Hi everybody. Um, well, this is nice. This is cozy. Isn't this nice? I think it's nice. Uh, maybe let me bring you closer a little bit so you can see me. Hi. So, hey friends. Uh, just a quick chat. I just got back from the shops. I went into Woolworths. So I decided to get myself a coffee. It's, I think, half past 12 right now. Haven't had anything to eat. We'll definitely eat something right now. But, uh, I'm not having the greatest week. Um, I think I touched on this in the previous vlog where I spoke about how, I spoke about financial security and how, for me, it has a huge impact on my mental health and um, these moments are fleeting they come and go uh, I've been very and I think it's it's a conversation that we need to have I think people don't have conversations regarding how mental health is affected so much by where you are financially whether you can afford something whether you can't whether money is a little bit tight whether you're financially insecure um, um, or financially stretched as Lee would say it or um, you know you're just not in the best financial you're not in the best space financially you're still managing you're still whatever but you're used to your life moving a certain way and uh, for me, it's not something I really speak about, but I, I remember having a conversation earlier on this week with uh, Lucia, and we were talking about how these are conversations we should be having, you know, and, and a lot of us really struggle on the inside with um, the stress that comes with when you're so used to being overly independent right you're still independent even now you still manage your your bills you still manage your finances you're still okay but uh things are different you know they they're different and for me uh things really drastically changed in 2020 uh when covid struck uh work stopped for us in my line of work we just didn't work at all because we work outside right we work on site we were in meetings all the time we blah 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 so we had to stop work and in my line of work no work no pay that's pretty much how it is uh, because we are reliant on um, putting out payment certificates and then uh, waiting for client to pay so for a long time in 2020 and 2021 I found myself diving into my savings, hectically so, and not diving into them for, for nice things, diving into them just so that I could pay my bills and still live the life that I'm used to living. Um, so that it took a knock uh, on, on, on my savings and it also took a knock on my mental health. Um, a large reason why I went away last year is because of my constant anxiety stress worry over finances now i can be sitting here and having this chat with you but still know that you know the investments are there and and, and properties are there and whatever and i i have options um but that's not the point i think the point of the the chat is when you find yourself in a place where you've never been before uh, financially where you have to um, kind of pay attention to each and every single bill you pay pay attention to every single move you make financially pay attention to every single this 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 there's so many things that I have would have wanted to change by now uh, in 2023 like three years down the line from 2020 right but I haven't had the I haven't had um, the chance to because the financially smart person in me is just like it's not the time you're not ready it's not the time if you do this you're gonna make things worse for yourself you know and uh, for me i don't know i i just really genuinely feel like i can't be the only one um going through this like i've had these conversations with my friends i've had these conversations with my 
uh, uh, family, had this conversation with my partner as well. Um, had this conversation with my sister. Like my sister and I talk money all the time, and we talk money in the sense that how can we make more money? Um, but we've all felt the pain. She's felt it. I felt it. So many people that I'm around, my friends, like everybody's just felt the pinch. And I think since 2020, it's just been a downward spiral. And considering the fact that the country is just not even in a great space, it's, uh, it just makes it even worse, doesn't it? So for me, it highly impacts my mental health. Um, I'll be fine one week and then the next week I'm thinking about I need to do this, I need to do that, and da, 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 da. oh my god, uh, uh, uh. and often a lot of the time it involves money. Um, there's other things that impact my mental health, of course, generally, but as somebody who struggles with depression, it's, it's, it's me waking up every morning, going out, laughing with people, enjoying having a good time. But in the back of my mind, I'm just like, I want to go home, you know, I, I just, I can't, I can't, I just want to go home. It's hard, um, but I wanted to have this conversation because I pride myself and my content on authenticity and I can't be laughing and smiling all the time, even in moments where I don't feel like doing that. So it's been hard. I touched on it in the last vlog, uh, but never really went back to it because the day that I did want to go back to it, I broke one of my tripods. I don't even know how I did it. I've got two tripods and you're perched on one now. I broke the other one and uh, I'm just going to have to buy another one over the weekend, which is fine. I'll do that. Um, and then when I broke it, I think I pulled the legs too much or something and and the one that you're perched on now is a Manfrotto tripod and those are the best very very strong very very rare for you to break a Manfrotto but uh, the other one was just a spare tripod that I could use on days where I just want a tripod that I can maneuver around move around whatever I think I got that tripod for like 300 or 400 bucks whereas the Manfrotto ones are like 2000 or something like that uh, so outside of that the point <laughs> i'm trying to make is that i broke it that day when i was going to have this conversation and i proper broke it and i was so upset that i was just like screw this and the conversation was going to happen at night in my bedroom i prepared i set it up everything and then so i did something i moved something and dang ding, ding. Today is a Thursday, and normally on Thursdays I'm working from home, um, if I need to be. So on quiet days like today, where I don't really have anything that is required of me to do, even if I was at the office, except check emails, I'm waiting for a call, two calls actually, and uh, outside of that, it's a pretty quiet day. So I, I decided to even make it more quieter. On Fridays, I typically try and not work on Friday. Fridays are my therapy days and all of that. I, it, it, it's just naturally a heavy mental health day for me on Fridays because I have therapy. Um, so I don't, I try not to be too busy in the working world and all of that. But I wanted to have a chat with you guys that, um, you know, the fact that it may look all glitz and glam and it may look like, oh my God, this person is living such a great life, whatever. I think at the end of the day, we cannot take away from the fact that financially, I think a lot of us are feeling the pinch. Um, we're not living our lives the way we used to live our lives. I mean, when I think about how many trips I would have taken between 2020 and 2023, I laugh at myself because I'm, I've had to drastically uh, reconsider certain trips and all of that. So it's kind of crazy, you know, but uh, it's life, I guess. Things things are going to change. Things are going to be on the up and up. But I wanted to know how you feel. How are you feeling mentally right now when it comes to, you know, your finances and where you are? Because for me, um, I'm just trying to keep it together in this portion of the video, but these are the things that really upset me that really flare up my anxiety that really put me in a really dark place um 
to be like that sometimes, you know? Also, another thing that I have been highly considering, and I think I'm going to make the changes by the time you see this vlog, the changes might have been made or they will be made shortly after. Um, I'm ready to, to go by my name on social media. Um, I, I use Just Cutleo everywhere, but um, I think my name, I'm ready to just use my name. My name is Gatleo Malela and that's what I want to use. That's how I'm identified in the professional world. That's how I'm identified in business and all of this. And I use my platforms for business as well. So um, I think uh, don't be surprised if you see the name change and you're like, what happened to Just Cutleo? You know, you will hear me say Just Cutleo in my videos and whatever, like, welcome back. This is Just Cutleo because it is just me, isn't it? But uh, I am going to change it up uh, a little bit. Um, also, another comment that I wanted to make is, um, I mean, I I'm changing my to my name because that's authentically me and, and I'm proud of my name, proud of my name, proud of my surname, proud of where I come from. Um, so that's, that's what I'm going to use and, uh, that's how I'm identified everywhere. So yeah, that's what I'm going to use. Um, and then another thing I wanted to talk about, I've noticed that I would get a lot of, uh, DMs on Instagram on some cat who want to join the membership space, but the country that I'm from doesn't allow or it's blocked or I can't do it. I know there's a few people from, I think, I think Botswana and Namibia is struggling as well with that. And to be honest, guys, I can't do anything about YouTube and that. Um, there are currently, I think, 28 or 29 bonus videos in my membership space. And I would love for all of you guys to have access to that. Um, it's only 40 bucks a month. But if you can't, given where you are in the world, I'm, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about that. Hopefully, YouTube can can flag that i don't know I, i'll contact youtube and and see what the what the issue behind that is um but if there is in any way where you would like to support the channel um there are many other ways in you, in which you can there's as you're watching this video there's super thanks you can actually do a super thanks where you can pay anything from around 15 bucks um to unlimited some people pay 200 bucks some people pay 20 bucks some people pay 50 bucks where you can just do a super thanks for that video particularly that video um that would uh go a long way and i would appreciate that greatly because i hate to admit it but i've been saying for a very long time that i do not make the kind of guap that you you might think that i make on youtube far from it i cannot even if i wanted to make youtube my full-time career i can't with the amount of my it, i just cannot it, i girl i just can't i just can't it wouldn't even dent the expenses that i would have to pay so um so just even a super thanks or um or uh, 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 uh likes just like the videos as long as we can get the videos to over a thousand likes then i get recommended more and we get more people on the channel we get more people as part of the jk family but I can't do anything about the membership uh, space if your country does not allow. But if your country does allow, please definitely do join the membership space. It's a great way in which you can support me and uh, my content and, and push me even further to keep creating content. Um, because I, I, make, I am not even going to lie, I make more with my daytime job and uh with my coaching business than i do on youtube and it's just it's it's it becomes one of those things like then why am i doing it you know what i'm saying um but i do it because i love it and i do it because i see how you guys respond to uh the videos and it's always a good time man to film a candid with cat and do all those things it's always a good time um so yeah so if if you if you do feel so gracious you can consider doing a, a, a thanks, a super thanks, a super likes. I don't, I don't know what they call them, but they're there below the screen. You'll, you'll just see like a super like or super thanks or whatever, and you can decide um, how much 
you would like to um, gift me with it's like a gift right so how much you would like to gift me with and it comes directly to me so um, I think YouTube takes a small portion of it but uh, it comes directly to me so I really would appreciate you maybe considering that um, but it's not it's not a force it's not if you can't you can't I totally get it I totally get it um, but yeah that's what I wanted to talk about uh, just mental health is a little bit short right now. This is probably one of the, the more honest chats that I've had on this channel in a while. I've had a lot of honest chats. I mean, gosh, I'm an open book. I talk about my mental health. I talk about the fact that I had gone through a form of GBV. I talk, man, I talk about everything except the things that I choose not to talk about. Um, there's certain things that I just won't ever talk about. But, yeah, that's another big part. And I think... Uh, we can all relate to that. A lot of us can relate to that. A lot of us aren't living lavish right now. A lot of us aren't uh, living the life we want to be living right now. And uh, I'm here to tell you that that's okay too. That's okay too, you know? Things will uh, look up eventually. You know, we got God on our side. God is on our side. Pray about it. Um, especially even in moments where you don't feel as strong thanks for listening to my chat okay let's go let's go let's go oh i feel so much better i feel so much i feel so much better just by talking i feel so much better okay let's go